Hi guys, it's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. In today's video, guys, I'll be sharing with you the best Luna staking strategies for 2022. I'll start off with some safer strategies. If you're looking for safe, uh, stable coin strategies, I'll be starting off with them. And then I'll go into more higher risk degen staking strategies. Also, guys, I'll be sharing with you exactly how I have been staking. We started staking Luna uh, mid last year. If you've been following our channel, Luna has gone absolutely parabolic. It's one of our favorite coins. We got in involved at five dollars and if you follow our channel we're more of a trading channel but luna i, I got involved with DeFi and you know staking and it's been absolutely life-changing i made a way more money than i would have made if i was just trading so staking has been absolutely life-changing so i'll be sharing with you exactly the strategies i was using back then strategies that i'm using now and i'll be sharing with you the delta neutral strategy my personal favorite one in a lot of details i'll be sharing with you everything that you need to know what platforms you used to use what is staking step by step share with you screenshots also look at the platform live and share with you basically everything that you need to know to start staking today so make sure you watch the video till the end guys it has taken me a bit of time to put this video i have released some uh, other videos some staking videos this will add to that playlist so if you've watched them you already know some luna how to stake luna and the simpler strategies this will go into a lot more detail especially on the delta neutral strategy and apologies for the delay this video takes a lot longer to make because i've got to create it prepare it uh, so it takes a lot longer to make but if you do enjoy this kind of video hit that like button and i'll try to make more luna staking strategy videos luna and terra there's so many platforms that is launching there's nexus and stata protocol which i'm looking at whitewell protocol another amazing protocol i'm looking at now so if you are interested in luna staking DeFi strategies comment below and smash that like button it will motivate us to make more videos i'll try to make maybe a couple of these videos a month sharing with you exactly how to stake and make money so if you're unsure on trading or if you're new to crypto this in introduction uh, video on DeFi and staking strategy will probably help you so before we get started make sure you hit that like button so guys uh, there's the five strategies i'm going to talk about today is these are the main five strategies and there are slight differences in different strategies i'll talk about at the end of the video but on a high time frame these are the main strategies the first one is lunar staking which i've talked about in a previous video but i'll cover it in this video second one is a ust again an anchor protocol it's 19.5 actually but i've put 20 percent so that's the other strategy again i've made a video about it then we go into a bit more uh, a bit more detailed strategy so if you've not if you've not got as much time or if you're new you might uh, it might tell you you probably haven't heard about it but i'm going to go into them step by step these are the ones that i haven't gone through before and then they let me know which one you like the most and what i'll do is like i've done with pegaxi i've put in you know 10 grand into pegaxi i could put in you know 5 10 grand like i've done with olympus DAO, which isn't going very well i've actually exited i'll talk about that in the pre in a future video if i get a chance but yeah let me know which strategy you like most and what i'll do is i'll put my money in and do it live uh, um i was going to do it at the end of this video if we have time but i could do that as well so let me know which strategy you like the most so let, let's get into the video now then so what is staking and, and what is luna again if you follow my channel you must know what luna is that's uh, primarily only only thing i talk about but luna is is, is you know the is the token for the Terra ecosystem to protect the integrity of the Terra mechanism by locking value for the Terra ecosystem when you know when providing network security Luna holders and delegators can earn rewards for exposing themselves to the risk and to offer incentive to the long-term interest in the Luna ownership so that's why you know people who take the risk and stake Luna that's why they get some staking rewards so rewards from stake are primarily determined by the size of the stake and structured in a way that rewards increase as transaction volume increases so that's basically you know why you get rewarded if you're staking because you are taking the risk you are trying to secure the Terra ecosystem that's why you are rewarded so that's on a high time frame what basic states in Luna staking is so the platforms that you need for this uh, video you need exchanges so you can have binance uh, a kucoin i'll leave the links below to use one of them you would need to use them to buy luna or to there are other ways as well i think i'm sharing with you a very simple one uh, you would need the terra station so if you're you know staking luna you can use terra station the web app and uh, i went into a lot of detail in this video i'm not going to go through all that detail so if you watch this video go into a lot of detail in this video go step by step basically how to do that you'd need to install terra station extension so i'm using it on chrome so install the terra extension uh, add-on you really need the need that if you want to you know, use anchor and mirror protocol so please install that and then we'll be using anchor and mirror protocol which i'll uh, flick through as well i've got screenshots of the a key 
steps of, of how to stake but I'm going to go through it on live as well so uh, you can see how you need to do it so uh, that's uh, the, the platforms that you need to use and obviously the simple stuff you need the knowledge and the internet and the simple stuff I'm, I'm assuming you already have all of that so let's talk about the first one so staking Luna this is quite simple so you need to install a Terra station create a wallet receive token from an exchange stake Luna withdraw staking rewards and um, that's step by step how to stake it I've got a video on it but basically you download Terra station you go on stake uh, you need to uh, use the Terra station there's a how to uh, you can, if you click on this link or you can copy paste this link this shows you how to do it as well but basically these are the step on how to do it uh, you need to withdraw Luna or UST so in this example I'm sharing with you how to withdraw Luna this is on Binance you go on the fiat spot you click withdraw click Luna whatever Luna you have you withdraw how much you want to do for UST same thing just you need to click UST and you withdraw UST so that that's simple how to withdraw and I'm sure you, you know how, how to do it and if you're unsure of anything comment below I'll try to help you out try to Google as well Google your best friend a comment below myself or someone else will try to help you out as well so then you go into the staking section you click the validator I do I, in that video I go through how to pick the best validator but again these are some high points you know look at uptime look at the commission and um, those are a couple of things that I look for when I'm picking my validator um, and then yeah finally you stake it and uh, once you stake it you can confirm it and you can start earning withdrawing some money as well so that's the first one and um, again I've gone through that in a, a lot of detail in my previous video so I won't spend that much time you could roughly expect to earn about 7% APY there are some higher APYs but I'm just going through on average uh, the benefits or the disadvantages of this risk is the exposure to lunar price so if the lunar price is going up that's when you can make you know crazy money again I'll, I'll get a calculator I'll go through how much you can expect to make staking but a lot of it is dependent on the lunar price if bitcoin dumps lunar price dumps you're not going to be making as much money so that's the you know positives and negatives if you're bullish on lunar uh, you could you could use this strategy uh, for me uh, when i was uh, last year i was heavily using this strategy uh, let me go back to the, this page this was my main strategy so bonded lunar borrow and farming this was my main strategy last year i've moved mainly to the delta neutral strategy this is what i am i'm doing this and this the second and the third strategy a lot more and um, if you are interested in you know what i'm doing straight away you can check out other rockstar trading group uh we like we trade there um there's live streams there's courses and if you you know th this is a long that we took we hit our first target it's breaking out now i'm bullish luna and I, again it's not a price prediction video but if you are interested in you know, taking your trade to the next level talk about these DeFi strategies with myself and other members and just you know, help the community and help the channel channel it's less than 30 bucks a month to trial you can trial us for less than 30 bucks and see if this group is for you or not i'll leave the links below if you're interested in i can post there a lot more what trades i'm taking what strategies and all that good stuff so if you are interested i'll leave the links below we started doing this in july last year and it was you know like i said it was life-changing for me especially being as just a trader that's the first strategy luna staking the second second strategy is the ust rewards uh, on anchor protocol and uh, let's quickly go into what anchor protocol is just a quick one slide so anchor is a decentralized savings protocol offering low volatile yields on terra stable coin deposits anchor rate is powered by diversified stream of staking rewards from major proof of stake blockchains and therefore can be expected to be much more stable than money market interest anchor community believes that a stable reliable source of yield in anchor has the opportunity to become the reference interest rate in crypto so this is probably the biggest thing that's helped luna go absolutely parabolic and you guys know i'm just a trader in and out apart from bitcoin and ethereum i just trade in and out when i found out about this uh, and especially when the price of luna was there you know that's when not here sorry the luna price was at five dollars that's when i just you know lost i just believed in the project so much and then um, i can share this with you if you type in luna five dollars in the group or if you type in luna five dollars and you'll see the trades we took um you can check the dates uh december last year was it this one so this is the trade you can see when what the price of luna was and um we were trading it back then so you know i absolutely just got sold on luna you can see the date 5th of july when i was uh buying luna just around here so i went this was the main reason why i got sold onto luna and this is what's helped luna get so 
bullish so you know everyone is scared of you know the apy is changing but when you come in and see like a 19.4 percent or 20 percent apy stable people you know people are more inclined to put their money into the project because they can work out how much they'll earn and and you know i've made a few videos of there are some fud around the anchor protocol you can watch this video but you know it's really important for luna and the terror team to just have 20 percent or 19.4 percent on there because that is huge for attracting new money and growing the protocol so again that's br brief briefly what anchor protocol and as the key thing is you know instant instant withdrawals principal protection there's you know liquidation protections you can get insurance as well if you're putting you know six figures in i'll recommend you get some insurance i'll talk about that but basically the high stable deposit uh, yields this was a game changer in, in cryptocurrency so again that this was one of the main reasons why i uh, started DeFi for the first time and, and i'm still a trader that's where i make most of my money but DeFi is literally absolutely taken over um crypto and i'm i'm really excited and you know a lot of the things that i'm doing now you know play to earn models and um, staking models those are stuff i'm doing just because of getting involved with luna and seeing how powerful luna can be so uh, that's the dashboard uh, of of anchor uh, of uh, anchor protocol so you can log in this is what you'll see you need to go into the earn section and basically deposit that's how simple it is. It's nothing rocket science. Uh, I could, you know, write loads of steps, but it's fairly simple. All you have to do is download uh, Terra Station, which I've showed you how to do uh, previously. You need to install the Terra Station extension. You need to withdraw UST. So you need to withdraw UST from Bi uh, from KuCoin or Binance. You need to withdraw it uh into um into your terra station extension so copy that address withdraw it paste it and uh, you need to click deposit and that's as simple as it is and you know crypto DeFi. when you hear about it you start thinking it's going to be really you know complicated really difficult but luna just made it so simple even for myself for many others and, and for some of you as well and um, that's why it's that simple to use and it's gone so bullish so that's the simple strategy and the rewards you can expect to earn is 19.4 so it's not or five nineteen point four. The benefit is no exposure to Luna price. So if the price of is basically risk free, but I know I'll talk about some potential risk and if you can get insurance, but it's basically risk free. You're getting you know nineteen point four percent APY risk free, and and I know it's not those crazy thousand percent people look for in crypto, but that is crazy. In, in, if you live in a bank, you don't even get one two percent. So twenty percent rewards. If you've got you know hundred k lying around, or you've got a lot of money, even if you don't have that much money, why not do this? If you haven't got time to trade, or if you haven't got time to research, this is an amazing amazing way of doing it. And this is where. Um, I have started doing a lot more of um, and I'll, I'll talk about what I've been doing at the end of the video but this is what I've been uh, doing a lot more of and there's no exposure to lunar price if lunar price is dumps then it's still the price this this price can go up uh, one of the points I want to talk about briefly is uh, in a bear market lunar price could be going up so I, I've written a thread you can read this thread I talk about it in my previous lunar video and I talk about you know some of the changes that Luna's making and lunar price is still going up even when everything else is going down and I explain the reasons why the lunar price is going up but you can read this thread i go into in a lot more detail but just to recap uh, for this video in a bear market people usually sell their high risk bitcoin and other cryptos and hold stable coins if they hold usd stable coins the price of luna could be going up because if the demand of usd goes up you need to mint more usd and to mint more usd you have to burn luna if the supply of luna decreases you could expect the price to go up that's sort of the um i, want, I was going to say thesis uh, to make myself sound more clever but that's the idea and that could be really bullish for it and and this is why i think a lot more people would be looking into the anchor protocol and the price of anchor pro price of luna could be going up and that would be because of the, of the way luna and usc works and so i i've said this is risk-free but there is some smart contract risk and there is risk of the ust peg and you can watch my other videos when i talk about what luna and the terra ecosystem is trying to do to make that you know peg as strong as it is possible and i believe a lot more in ust and trust ust a lot more than you know the usdt the where they say that is backed but i'm not sure if it is actually backed and on top of that they've just got bitcoin reserve of 1 billion one of the biggest crypto transactions in the world and I, I covered that in this video so you can go watch that but i'm really confident in this and i have my money in this if you still want to be extra secure 
there is a way to get insurance and protect your deposit and again i'm not i'm not going into a lot of detail in this but if you are interested let me know in the comment section below maybe i'll make a video in the future how to protect your deposits so that's the second strategy and i'd probably say the most simple strategy if you haven't got that much time just simply do that the second one this is what i used to do so when i talked about you know at five dollars in the rockstar trading group when we got involved uh, we we i i started doing this and you know, a lot of people other people were doing this with us so basically what you have to do is um uh mirror i'm going to talk about mirror protocol in a later bit that slide should be in, in a bit later on but basically you need to get luna first so buy luna on binance i'm sure you guys can do that i've talked about it before then you need to swap your b uh, swap your luna for b luna which is bonded luna you can do that on uh, anchor protocol luna to bond uh, let me share that with you so b assets you basically bond your luna uh, that's how you mint and burn you want to bond your luna and get b luna uh, there, there is a way to get it on TerraSwap, and it could actually be cheaper so a quick tip that it might be cheaper to get it on TerraSwap. but for the simplicity of it uh, i'm sharing with you how to get it on anchor protocol first thing you need to do is buy luna on a binance then you need to bond your luna to b luna then you can borrow against that luna this is where the power of luna comes so i wasn't just you know buying and holding luna i was doing all this cool stuff and this net apy was a APR is three sub three and a half percent but this was absolutely crazy i can't remember what it was but it was like probably 50 or something absolutely crazy you're you, you're still getting paid to borrow but you were getting paid like with something ridiculous to borrow back then so you need to come into the borrow stage uh, of, of of here so once you've deposited your luna you can still it's four percent you make four percent on here as well which you can when we talk about rewards I'll, i've not inc incorporated that but if you want to if you're playing with you know 50 10 grand 100 grand then maybe you want to know exactly how much you need to work but then you come in here you click the borrow amount and you borrow against your luna so you give your bonded luna as collateral to get ust and once you've got that ust you can go back and uh, like i've shared with you um this so you get you, you give your luna you give your bonded luna to get ust and use that ust to earn that 20 percent. how powerful is that that is mind-blowing and i know it's probably if you're in cryptocurrency it just seems normal but to me that is mind-blowing and um this this is why i caught so bullish on luna and if you watch my previous videos from back then you know the youtube videos i share exactly when i'm buying and selling in the rocks trading group i can share my entries my exits and all that good stuff uh but yeah luna that's when i went absolutely crazy on luna when i when i understood that and also how luna had to be burnt to mint USD. those were the two key game changers for me so so you so going back to this strategy so you buy a luna you buy on luna you borrow against it and you earn ust interest so and on top of that so i, I talked about this you can stop stop at that earning 20 percent but if you want you know more risk there's more ways to earn money if you've got more time which is good which is what i'm going to talk about in the mirror protocol but that's the strategy for luna staking and you could stop luna uh you know you could stop at this but then after you've st you've you're earning that you know 20 percent 19.4 percent on anchor protocol you can still use AUST and have even more risk which is what i'll come on to in the next video but before i go on to this this is probably the most important slide on here please do not get liquidated you can borrow quite a lot but i would probably say keep it to 30 35 percent always check what your liquidation price is it tells you what the liquidation price is if the price gets to there you'll get liquidated so when you click put your borrow amount please write down what your liquidation price is even 10 15 percent before the price goes there set alerts you know i used trading view set alerts you know i set alerts and trade if you follow me on twitter or youtube and uh, you know how i set alerts and how i trade make sure you set alerts and this is where it gets a bit complicated if you're you know just want to keep it simple you can do the first two things if you want to make it a bit more complicated or get into a bit more the nitty-gritty of it this is where you can earn more so you know more risk more reward and obviously the more you work the more reward reward but again the work uh, compared to every anything else I, I think this is nothing you the amount of money you can make so the payback so set alerts and before liquidation payback loans if your price is dropping massively and you can see you're close to liquidated price and you know, have some money deposited into into anchor protocol so you can you know keep it liquid you can pay down if it's going up deposit more so again if the if you see that your liquidation price is going closer deposit more guys you know have more usd available buy more luna bond and provide it to anchor please 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 do not get liquidated that's the biggest thing and if you are if you want to keep it simple follow the first i'm not scaremongering i'm not scaring try it with you know one thousand two thousand dollars and you know we can get more involved later on but that would be a really big tip and that's why i said probably the most important slide on this video 
though. And then um, but even better scenario is the price of your asset goes up and you can borrow more. So this is a tip. And if the price of Luna goes up and you know, you're staking more, you're earning more, you're compounding more interest, you can borrow more, you can buy more Luna. But those that's the fun bit. So I mean, I, uh, I, I've, I've written this at the bottom. So and if the Luna prices go up, it's the opposite. You know, you're not having to put more money in. You can borrow more if you want. Um, you can do a lot more cool stuff with it. You can buy more Luna. Uh, I'll touch on some of the things you can do, but that's the even better if scenario. So I left it at the bottom. So I don't want. I wanted to share. Uh, you know, end this scary slide on on a positive note. So um, the Anchor Protocol actually doesn't only give you that twenty percent. It gives you a UST, an interest-bearing token, which you can use to long and short farm. So, you know, it's not that 19.45% that Anchor is giving you. It gives you an AUST. With, with that AUST, you can long and short farm and do some really cool, amazing stuff, which is what I'm going to get in get into in a lot more detail. And, and you can do that on Mirror Protocol. So what is Mirror Protocol? Mirror Protocol is a DeFi protocol powered by smart contracts on the Terra network that enables that that enables the creation of synthetic assets called mirror assets, M assets. M assets mimic the price behavior of real world assets and give traders anywhere in the world open access to price exposure without the burden of owning or transacting assets. Uh, I also uh, talked about, um, you know, how uh, mirror protocol gives access to people around the world so you know in, in some people in, in singapore or other parts of the world might not own the u.s assets or i might i might want to own something somewhere else that i can't buy in the uk mirror protocol you can have exposure to that and that is very very powerful and and that could be an amazing use case for for mirror protocol so minting m assets is decentralized and is undertaken by users throughout the network by opening position and depositing collateral mirror ensures there is always sufficient collateral within the protocol to cover m assets Assets and also manages markets for M assets by listing them on TerraSwap against UST. So mirror farming, so I've touched on before. So once you deposit money into Anchor Protocol, you'll start seeing that you have access to a UST. So all you have to do is basically click that, click that deposit uh, button here, and that's it. You've deposited any 20%, and you're given a UST that you can play with in the mirror protocol DeFi world so that is very very powerful and i love seeing that so the strategy is that using that AUSC you short farm a a token and i'll talk about it which one you can pick and uh, you can be earning money so you can take a directional risk by just shorting something or you can directional risk taking long in something but what i do is i say short farm using ust and long and hold using the other ust then you're delta neutral and you're earning you're earning short farming rewards and that is something that i mainly do now i don't really do you know long short as much but this is basically what i'm doing most of so i'm i've got most of my ust and um, um, i still own lots more luna than most people but i probably own less than 20 percent of what i earn so let's say i and I had a thousand or ten thousand worth of Luna. I uh, I, I hold twenty percent of that, so you know, two thousand Luna. So it's a really um, again. I'm just being completely transparent. Uh, when you get in early in a project, you need to take profit. Even now, I think it's early. It is, you need to think about some uh, profit taking measures. You know, people say I'm not a, a real lunatic. Although you know, on Twitter I mainly meme post and shit post if you want to talk about it. But there's lots of good content I share. And this, if you listen to any of that, you know, even this, I'm just posted now which is what i'm doing there could be you know amazing amazing investments but you know i did take profit and which is i'm completely transparent with and um and I'm, I'm doing a lot more of this UST farming at the moment. So that's um, uh, my thoughts on, on Mirror Protocol. So let's go into a bit more detail then. So these are the farms. And then one of the things I want to talk about is back when I was doing it, this is a screenshot of my previous video. It, you was getting 80% shorting rewards this was absolutely ridiculous you were getting 80 percent you know 50 percent for longing and at that time uh, i was i wasn't really bullish on gold so i just let gold go sideways and i wasn't short hedged so if you're not short hedged you can again this is where maybe i need to do a live stream and talk to you guys through because there's so many different variables there's so many different things you can do but at that time i was literally shorting gold to get the short hedge rewards and i wasn't really hedging against it and if it dipped a lot because i'm trading like i'm bullish gold now this is the trade we took in gold uh, uh, you could look to long gold if you believe that you know what the war is happening and all the issues that that's going on in the world gold is usually a risk off assets and you can see the gold trades we've been taking you can go back and see the rocks trading group i can post my exact entries and 
how I'm trading here, share with you my strategies. You can ask me questions in the live streams and all that good stuff. But I'm bullish gold. So one thing you can do is, you know, you put your UST and you keep earning that money on your UST. And then you buy gold if you're bullish gold. If you bullish another stock, you could be bullish Apple or Microsoft. You could long them. Uh, but if you bearish gold, short gold, and if gold breaks through this red zone, I'm going to be looking to get out and potentially I could short gold and at, at that time I wasn't really bullish or bearish gold in 2021 uh, you can see it was just sort of going sideways so I was just you know shorting it just to get the staking rules and once it actually dumped and I ended up making money you can see July time um it, it sort of broke down and it made me money which was pretty good but you know at the, that's just something you can do I'm just giving you an option but if you don't want to take that risk you can long and short and um, that could be a, a really good strategy for you. So how do you short it? So if you come into here, you click on short form. I've picked Microsoft because it's got higher APY and probably it's not as volatile as some of the other coins. And then the key thing is, you know, please don't put like a 50, 150 percent collateral. I would say put 200, 220 uh, percent. That would mean if you have 2000 invested with this collateral, you'll be able to short a thousand dollars Microsoft. And um, I'm assuming you guys know what shorting is if you're watching this channel. But just to quickly tell you that you borrow money to short it and then you have to use you, you you buy with that borrowed money so let's say you bought borrowed 100 at microsoft to short it to sell onto the market you have to buy that back and give it back so if you let's say buy microsoft so you borrow microsoft at 100 dollars and sell it at 100 dollars uh, and you buy 10 worth of microsoft the price of microsoft drops to 80 you've you can buy microsoft a lot cheaper you're saving 80 dollars per microsoft you buy it and you make profit on the other hand, if the price of Microsoft goes up, you have to end up buying it a lot with a higher price and you lose money. That's why if you don't want to be taking that directional risk, you can long and short and be delta neutral. So uh, um, I'm going to share with you the, the strategy that I'm talking about the most, uh, the most simple one and the most popular one. So you short it here. So you come in, you click short, you'll come to this page. I'd say put it to 200. Make sure you pick AUST. And if you in, uh, deposit UST into Anchor Protocol, you'll have a AUST. So let me just show you it quickly. Uh, this will make more sense. So you come into farming, you short it, make sure you pick AUST. You set collateral, um, I'd say around 200, the short amount depending on how much UST you have, and that's how you short it. So simple terms, set 200, pick MUST, uh, Microsoft, you can pick your own, I'll touch on which one you could pick. The rewards aren't as great as it used to be, but it's still amazing compared to anything else. Uh, and then uh, that will be your shorting part, so you short farm it, and then you can just long it. You could long farm as well, but the risk to long farming is uh, impermanent loss. And I could go into a lot more detail on impermanent loss, but please Google it. If the price of uh, Microsoft goes up, a lot you might you won't you won't make as much money if you're just holding it so if you don't want that uh, impermanent loss i suggest if you're new to it just long it and yeah this is just the first video i'm making almost a beginner video i'm already talking for over half an hour there's going to be a lot more video coming guys in the next uh, few weeks to months where i go into each of these detail in a lot lot more detail so again make make sure you hit that like button if you're enjoying this if you want one part of this strategy where you want me to put ten thousand dollars and play with that money show you live how to do it I can do that so make sure you comment below but this is again like I said the first part of the video and, and a lot more will be coming out uh, going forward so what I will say is um, you get your AUST short farm it make sure you've got enough collateral then the, the what the amount you shorted so let's say you shorted 100 uh, Microsoft uh, uh, stocks you come here you buy 100 Microsoft stocks and then you're delta neutral. So whatever happens to the price of Microsoft, you just earn that reward. And at the end of the two weeks, you give that Microsoft back and then you you hedge. So whatever happens to the price, you are safe. So that is a really important tip. And that's how you be delta neutral. So this is the one with impermanent loss. So you get AUST, you short from AUST and you long from AUST. You still delta neutral and you're earning short, short and long farming rewards, but you are um, exposed to impermanent loss. If you're not want that then that's something you can't do but also when you're longing you have to provide a ust as well so you're long farming so liquidity pools you need long and short that's another uh, additional money that you need to put on 
So uh, just to recap the strategy before I talk about how much you can earn. So when I talked about the lunar staking strategy or when I talked about the UST staking strategy, they're quite simple. I can just say, yeah, this is how much you're going to earn. But when I talk about the staking strategy, the rewards can change. Uh, what I do have is a calculator. So let me know if you want that calculator uh, for my uh, Pegaxi I shared with you, my breeding calculator. Let me know in the comment section below. I'll maybe make another video, share with you my calculator and play with the numbers so you guys can see exactly how much you can look to earn but these strategies so that you know the usd strategy is quite simple you, i can tell you exactly how much you can expect to earn in the usd strategy 19.4 percent stable coin rewards but when i talk about luna there's so much more risk it's difficult to say how much you'll earn so um i can't really actually say you yet this is how much you're going to earn so it's a bit more difficult uh, but i'm going to try my best to share with you and there's a lot of discrepancies so uh, the prices price of luna could change uh, the anchor protocol rewards could change and i think with what's happened and if you watch my these this video and that video i think it will be sustainable at least for the next year or so unless anything crazy happens especially with what the team is doing but obviously it's crypto anything can happen but that that's a, a key point to make um it's a lot reasonable to say yeah you're going to earn 19.4 percent but yeah if if that changes the farming rewards changes there's lots of changes so it is a bit difficult to say how much you'll look to earn but if you are bullish luna uh, you could look to use this strategy where you're bonding luna so in this strategy you buy luna and uh, i'll have to find that slide which goes into detail. So you have to buy Luna, bond Luna, get B Luna, you borrow against that Luna, you get that UST reward, um, you get UST 20%, and on top of that, you 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 get AUST, and with that AUST, you go into Mirror Protocol, do long farm, short farm. That's the most aggressive strategy. So I'll put in here most aggressive if you want to do that. And um, I could put in, you know, long farm, short farm here at the bottom. So short and long farming so that is the most aggressive strategy and uh, you could look to do that and this is what i was basically doing um from last may and that last june july time at the moment i'm more doing the ust strategy so i'm going to talk about the numbers of ust more again if you want that b luna strategy let me know i can make a video in the future and share with you exactly how to do it and a good thing is you can do this with a thousand bucks you can do it with ten thousand a hundred thousand bucks so again you can do it with a different strategies but just to keep you know big numbers i talk about let's say you invest three thirty thousand uh, dollars if you are going to follow the delta neutral long hold not the long farm strategy and I'll put a question mark here. Uh, what you need to do is uh, you need to put 20,000 in anchor. So if you have 30,000, put 20,000 in anchor. You get that $4,000 um, USD. So this is stable coin. This is what you will get. Amazing, great rewards. On that, if you use 200% collateral, you short 10,000. So you get AUSD. This is with AUSD. Let me put that here as well. Hopefully this is making sense. It is quite difficult. It's, it's, I know it's a long video as well. Maybe you need to pause it and watch it. So with that 20%, you've got it on Anchor Protocol. You get uh, AUST. With the AUST, you can go into Mirror Protocol and you can short farm. With short farming, you can expect to earn uh, two and a half grand. Um, and uh, that's your reward. And you could look to long farm. With long farming, you could earn you know, uh, with Microsoft or you know, you got Vixi. I, I probably wouldn't touch Vixi. Neo could be an option. So again, Vixi is very volatile. I'd probably pick Microsoft or Neo. Uh, I'd put, pick Neo because you can long farm it as well. Uh, I've not put that, but you can long farm it, get another 20%, and that will be another two grand. Uh, so that's how you can keep seeing how you can build it. But to keep it simple, this is, I'd say, a reasonable return on investment you could look to make. And this is completely risk free. So you invest 30 grand, you're getting four grand on UST rewards. You're holding an asset be um, interest bearing token, which the value of it is going up. Um, with that, you get in two and a half grand. And also, uh, I'll come on to it on the next vid uh, next slide. And then with the 10,000, you can just buy and hold. So if you're just shorting Microsoft, buy and hold $10,000 Microsoft. If the price goes up, you can return it, not lost your money. If the price goes down, this goes down, but you make money on that. So you're delta neutral. If you're feeling more frisky, what you can do is with the $10,000, you can long farm and you can even you know look to earn increase your earnings a lot more. But the key part is that 
if the price goes up, the lunar price, you can look to borrow more and buy more lunar. You'll be getting rewards 20% uh, every 14 days. You can put that mirror that you'll get, you can sell that mir mirror to buy lunar. You can sell that mirror to buy more UST and increase these values, you know, and then your earnings would go up. So that's something you can do. And it's the power of compounding. So these numbers might not look as great. You'll be like, oh, Rocco, I want 10Xs. And, and again, you probably risk losing... Uh, uh, all your money if you're trying to do that you know you can risk that money but you could compound it and that is the power of this and you could also look for directional risk so i touched on that we're long gold at the moment in the rocks to trading group and uh, you can see when the price is off uh, we are long from uh, if you're long uh, gold then you could just buy and long gold so you don't have to need all of that you, you or you, if you're bearish on microsoft you can short it the price goes down and you you take the directional risk so there's lots of things you can do with it you can stake mirror you can if you love the project you want to be involved with the project you can uh, you know gov you can get involved with the governance of mirror you can stake and farm mirror tokens so there's lots of stuff you can do um these are some of the things that i'm just sharing ideas with um so these are like some of the best strategies you can do in Luna. And these are, I would say, again, they're still risky. There's contract risk. There's risk of Luna and UST peg. Uh, but I would say these are less risky amounts. And there's amazing other protocols. So Nexus, Stada, White Whale. These are some other projects I'm looking at at the moment. And let me know if you want more Luna DeFi staking strategy videos. I'll make try and make. This takes like this taking me almost three days to make. So if you have enjoyed it, guys, hit that like button. I, I really appreciate it. Um, but if you are interested in more DJ and stuff, you know, you can abracadabra get like 100 to 300 percent APYs. But those are like very high DJ strategies. And I've played with some of them and I've shared with you some of the places I put my money in. But those are like very, very high risk ones. If you are interested in, in those strategies, hit that like button, comment below, and I'll try to make those videos for you going forward. But just to recap, uh, the, I've shared with you about five strategies. And obviously, there's lots of discrepancies. You could say I've shared with you more than 10 strategies. But I've talked about Luna staking the usd rewards uh, bonding luna and getting you know borrowing against it and farming shared with your delta neutral strategy just with stable coin and no directional risk and also like delta neutral strategy with a little bit of impermanent uh, loss as well so let me know what you think of this video what is your favorite one do you like this one do you like this one comment below and what i will do is maybe in the next couple of weeks i'll put a 10 grand in and just play with it um, and do it live with you I don't want to share, obviously, how much I've got on, but I could literally play with two, three grand, like I've done with, you know, Pegaxi, where I've put some money in and I'm playing it with you live in these videos. And I could do the same uh, with Olympus Dow. I've done it and I could do that. And, and we could just see how much we can turn 10 grand in Luna in, in a year. So that could be a fun little challenge on DeFi. So, uh, yeah. And if you are interested in a lot more detail on how we're trading, our staking, our Pegaxi and all that good stuff, comment below and uh, I'll leave the links below for you to check out our Rockstar Trading Group. If you want to support the channel, be part of our community, just hit the link below. You can trial us for uh, less than 30 bucks for a month. See if this group is for you or not. I live stream three to four times a week. Uh, there's a Telegram group. Myself and other people are talking about it. There's some Axie Infinity and Pegaxi and there's some DeFi DGENs as well that just goes into crazy 10,000% APY protocols, uh, DGEN high risk ones. But Luna is a lot more safer and it's a, you know, it's a lot higher standard gold standard project. So anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, guys, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification button. If you have any questions, guys, comment below and I'll try to get back to you. So yeah, thank you very much. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys soon with another great video. Go Luna!